Since the great westward expansion of the 1800s, California has led the country in innovation and economic prosperity. The gold rush expedited transportation development and ever since has set the standard for transportation improvements for the rest of the nation. Once again, California is taking bold new steps into the future of transportation with the development of the first high-speed rail in the United States. And at the hub of this transformative program is the center of California's heartland, the city and county of Fresno. As the fifth largest city in California and belonging to a county with a population approaching one million, Fresno serves a large civic and agricultural community and as gateway to the Sierras, looks to continue its trailblazing spirit as an economically rich destination. While the country has struggled through an economic downturn, the people of Fresno have a solution. Like their founding fathers, they can use a method of transportation that actually put Fresno on the map in 1872. Back then, it was the Central Pacific Railway. Today, it will be the California High Speed Rail, and it will bring thousands of new jobs, reinvigorate the city, connect the Central Valley to the rest of the state while helping clean the air and transport a growing population. Fresno means ash tree in Spanish, and it was given the name by early Spanish explorers to a stretch of white ash trees along the banks of the San Joaquin River. This is where the initial construction will begin on a stretch from the San Joaquin River Viaduct south to the Cedar Viaduct, crossing State Route 99. It will include 12 grade separations, two viaducts, one tunnel, and a major river crossing over the San Joaquin River. Entering from the north of Fresno, the high-speed rail will glide over an elevated structure from the San Joaquin River, spanning across the Union Pacific Railroad tracks on a long viaduct. It will cross over Golden State Boulevard and Herndon Avenue before returning to ground level near Bullard Avenue. The aesthetics, architectural designs, styles, and features of the new infrastructure, including bridges, walls, sidewalks, railings, fencing, lighting, and landscaping, will beautify the neighborhoods surrounding the project. McKinley Avenue is a busy street providing a link between neighborhoods east and west of the rail and highway corridors and a connection to Golden State Boulevard. A bridge for both traffic and pedestrians will replace the current intersection, and the existing structures in various states of disrepair between McKinley and Olive will be replaced by the high-speed rail and new development. Olive Avenue is also part of the West Fresno neighborhoods. The street runs along the edge of Fresno's popular Roding Park and the Chaffee Zoo. With so many people using the park, a safer traffic and pedestrian overpass will be created that will include bike lanes. And it's here that the high-speed rail starts to go below street level. To keep its historic look, all concrete wall surface treatments for overcrossing walls, slope paving, and sound walls will match the character, scale, and color of Roding Park's existing stone. The Stanislaus Bridge, together with the Tuolumne Bridge, was built in 1958 to relieve congestion at the main tracks and local industry. Daily use for over 50 years by thousands of residents and commuters to downtown and West Fresno neighborhoods has taken its toll on these bridges. Fortunately, the bridge will be built as a two-way, four-lane road. Plans call for a natural extension of the streetscape of downtown, along with pedestrian walkways and bicycle lanes to be included on both sides of the overcrossing. Passengers will arrive at the station at Mariposa Street between Tulare and Fresno Streets. The new train station design will incorporate the old historic remodeled train station that is currently there. It's an ideal location because it's also part of the main entry to Chuck Chansey Ballpark on one side and historic Chinatown on the other. With the expected surge of traffic, especially during baseball season, Plans for Tulare include a traffic underpass with normal frontage sidewalks and a pedestrian bridge for continuous access at both ends. 
And what a perfect location for a Fresno Grizzly to be called up to the Giants. He can be in San Francisco in no time. High Speed Rail, the backbone of the rail modernization system, will let Californians breathe a little easier. It's expected to reduce car miles traveled in the state by 3.6 billion miles by 2040. That's the equivalent of taking 317,000 cars off the road daily. The rail system will create transit and pedestrian-friendly development in Fresno that has approved a land use plan that directs growth to infill and redevelopment in the city, while limiting expansion into prime farmland on the city's outskirts. The California High Speed Rail will chart a new future for the city of Fresno, where they will work hand in hand with the city to make improvements that will help give Fresno a fresh and exciting new look. But most importantly, it shows California's continued mission to set a standard for the rest of the country and to provide a transformative investment in California's future.